Hey guys, so today is Tuesday the 27th of August and today I am sitting my theory test for my driving lessons and I am nervous. Um, one of the things that I've really liked is like watching other people's on YouTube so I thought I would like create my own maybe um, in the hope that it might help some of you. So my test is at quarter to two so I'm going to try and get there for about 20 past, 25 past. Um, I've been revising for the past three weeks actually um, but the past two weeks like solidly um, and I've just been using these apps here that if you can see so it's just the DVSA like pass thing I think this cost us about 5.99 and it got it's got the highway code the theory test and the hazard perception um but i've really what i've been doing is the mock tests more than anything um i've done all of the practice questions if you can see that um and i've been getting like 93 percent accuracy but what i've done is like screenshotted all of the questions that i've been getting wrong and on the bus on the way there i'm gonna like flick through them all just to kind of remind me i've also got the theory test like book by the aa um and I'm, i've highlighted all of the things that i'm a bit unsure about or i just need to like go over um but yeah and then what i'm gonna do is let you know my results once i've took the test it might be bad it might be good i don't know but if it's bad then I'll probably catch you in a couple of weeks if it's good then obviously I'll let you know how it goes um but yeah I'm nervous I'm really nervous I feel sick like I don't ever remember I'm like 26 now I can't remember feeling like this when I was doing my GCSEs at all like, what the hell? I'm so nervous. I feel sick. I feel so sick. I'm gonna have a banana. I'm gonna have something to drink. And then I'm gonna go. Wish me luck. Fingers crossed. Ah. So, it is sometime later now. And I thought I would just come back. I've done my theory test and I'm happy to say that I passed first time. I was absolutely buzzing. I can't believe that I've actually passed first time. Like, it's just a surreal experience. So, basically, I'm going to talk about it completely. So, I walked in there after obviously going there and like having a bit more of a recap on the bus and you basically go in and they give you a key with like a wooden spoon and a number and that's for your locker and they tell you that you need to read over like the code of conduct so to say saying that you need to be quiet you can't discuss it with anybody um you've got you've got to have your phone off no food or drink or smoking is allowed in the building things like that and then you've got to put your bag in turn your phone off turn your watch off if you've got like an apple watch like me um and wait for a cubicle um all of the people who were there were actually really nice and really friendly while i was waiting because they could obviously see that i was really like anxious and nervous about it so that was quite good nice that like i had the reassurance from them i'm just taking my sandals off if you're wondering what i'm doing um so i waited for my turn and then i went up to another lady and she asked to look at my provisional driving license again just asked to confirm like my name my postcode and to turn out my pockets to make sure that i've got not got anything in there and she said to go into the room and next to the room there was like this man um and you had to basically give him your driving license number again and he would get the computer ready so i was on number 16 
and because I have dyslexia I actually managed to get extra time so I actually instead of having 57 minutes I had double that so I had nearly two hours to do my exam which I thought was amazing I definitely did not need that much time though um but I highly recommend if you've got like a disability um especially a learning disability if you've got the kind of proof from the doctor or your education or whatever send that to them and get your extra time because it helps so much especially when you're under pressure and you're feeling stressed out about it so i did that um went and sat down and i put the headphones on straight away and i just had to like confirm it um you went through the practice like test um where you had to click and just make sure that everything was fine and then you went through all the questions so one of my top tips here would be read them all like time and time and time over go through the questions first click on the one that you think it is and if you're still if you're really really unsure and you don't, completely don't know flag it make sure you flag it um and then when you go back to the end screen before you click end review all and make sure you go through that time and time again until you've you're confident that you know the majority of the answers so for that part i actually managed to get 50 out of 50 which i've never got before not even in a mock test like i'll show you my phone but when i was doing the mock tests on the theory test i was failing all of them all of the time so as you can see all of them would fail apart from one for ages um so the fact that i got 50 out of 50 for that part i was so surprised about um and then it kind of gives you a break where you can either click next if you're definitely sure that you want to move on to the next one or you can have like a three minute break break and it just automatically does it um it plays the has a perception video that is on the practice like app where it just tells you what to do and how to do it and then it goes straight into the clips you get 14 clips and one of them has two developmental hazards in them where a car has to slow down or you have to change your course or whatever and i got to clip five and i thought nah I've completely failed this I'm, I'm not gonna do this um it was so difficult I didn't I, I just felt as though I didn't know when I was clicking and I was just clicking whenever I wanted and blah 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 I tried to remember um the tip video so I'll leave the video that I was watching because they're super handy um and I'll like put a put a note here or whatever um and that is like a really good video to watch if you completely don't know what you're doing with the hazard perception um so i did that i was trying to remember like the three click rule and stuff um i was trying to remember not to click more than 10 times but i just thought nah i failed this and then it was like the end of the t test um at the end i mean i don't know whether obviously it depends at the time that you're watching this but there was a chance where you could answer a couple more questions that weren't marked to make the service a bit better um or to do a customer survey and i decided to just no no on them ones because i just felt as though i had failed i really felt as though i had failed um, I went back out and the man who I saw before, like, who set up the computer for me, um, said, oh, how do you think you've done? And I told him, went and got my stuff out the locker and went back to the main thing and handed my key back. Um, and he asked to see my ID again, my provisional licence. And he said to me, oh, you should have a smile on your face, you should. Um, so I went, waited, I walked downstairs open the piece of paper because it's folded in a way that you don't see your, whether you've passed or whether you failed and it 
said congratulations you've passed and down at the bottom it has like what you got for your theory and what you got for your hazard perception and I actually got 73 out of 75 for my perception so I don't know I don't know I felt it felt it felt good it felt really good knowing that knowing that I've got 50 out of 50 and 73 out of 75 that's near full marks and that is for a dyslexic who is an anxious learner driver who is anxious about taking a test to begin with to get that on a theory mind blown um tips wise don't really know what you can do to be honest um i basically was doing this theory stuff for i would say two months and since i came back from manchester which would have been two weeks ago now three weeks ago i've been studying it every single night like i've done a mock test every single night if i haven't done a mock test i've gone through the pra practice questions um i think one thing that i would say is the night before or the day before go through every possible question that could come up like even if you've answered it already go through all 773 questions to get them ingrained in your brain if there's any that you're not getting um screenshot them and look over them just before you go in um i also got this theory book as well which is the theory test practical test and highway code from the aa and i basically went through all of the pages and highlighted the bits that i was like really struggling on so you'll probably find like quite a lot where the test where the signs are and i just highlighted them and like went over it while i was on the bus on the way to town um and then just try not to think about it i know that that's like hard to say because i was thinking about it until this morning um but just try not to think about it and just take a chill pill i mean it's it is difficult because when everybody was saying that to me i just kept thinking well i've paid 23 frigging quid for this i don't want to pay 23 quid again i want to like just pay it once and get it over and done with but just take your time and if you fail you fail you can take it again you can reset it time and time and time again um and just try your best and revise revise definitely revise but yeah i'm gonna book in for my practical tonight before i go to boogie bounce and yeah that's it that's my theory test experience I wish I could have took my camera in to show you what it was like, but I can't because regulations and stuff. Um, just I'm so happy. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Right, I'll catch you later, guys. See you in a bit. Bye.